Here in the west of the United States, the Navajos are the largest Native American tribe. The distances are long and the landscape barren. Karen King has to drive hours to get to her university. For me, it's well worth it. I'd rather pay for my gas and accomplish my education than sit back and say, I wish the school was in my local area. That will not work for me. King is one of a lucky few. Many Native Americans struggle to receive a proper education. Criminality and unemployment remain major issues. Rick Williams wants to change that. He is president of the American Indian College Fund in Denver, Colorado. The American Indian College Fund is a, is a non-profit organization that raises money for American Indian students, um, scholarships for them at the tribal colleges. There are 33 tribal colleges in the United States. Education and knowledge of one's heritage go hand in hand, according to Williams. Now we have Indian colleges, you don't have to go off the reservation, you don't have to go somewhere, um, you don't have to leave your home, you don't have to leave your culture, you don't have to give up your language, um, and you're learning about your own tribal government rather than state governments or federal governments, you're learning your own history instead of American history, um, so the advantage is significant. But education in the U.S. often doesn't come cheap. Karen King decided to go to college in 2007 after her kids had moved out of home. I was informed that I needed to pay and it was like, I would say maybe like $800. I was shocked and my first, I, it, it, my brakes came on. I didn't understand that I had to pay for school, but I had to. Dine College is the name of King's University. She heads to lectures there twice a week. The rest of the time she studies at home. The family income is around $45,000 a year. For a semester at college, she would normally have to pay $3,000. Through a scholarship from the American Indian College Fund, though, her fees are reduced. The fund has been giving out scholarships for 23 years now to recipients of all ages. The American Indian College Fund's work is never done. We're only meeting about, I think, 15% of the unmet need. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, it, it's a shame when a student doesn't have sufficient financial resources to be able to, to, to attend um, without making significant sacrifices. Um, it's our goal to, to try to change that. In two years, Karen King wants to be working as a nurse. She'd like to do so here in the region, on the land of her forefathers.